either. Where I just ask any globe head who talks about the and star trails, okay, we've got star trails above Polaris. Oh, Todd L. Now ask what you challenge. You can't even put an R into you. Okay, the challenge is, Todd, is to put a little tiny camera any size camera, I don't really care. And I don't care about the size of the ball. Use whatever size ball you want. But I just think using two tiny little webcam type bloody spy cams type of shit should work perfectly fine. Put one in your northern hemisphere, one in your southern hemisphere, align them with the polar alignment of the slant of your spinning ball even if even if you want to use a spinning ball just suspended from a string and have one pointed to the ceiling have one pointed to the floor and put you know whatever would work as artificial stars whether it be artificial stars or rocks or anything use a spray can of paint and just put fixed points all around the place and you show to me how when that camera is going around on that ball pointed at that pole and down at that pole is making perfectly circular star trails around the globular earth now look if you can do that I will give you a thousand bucks directly into your PayPal account. The first part of the experiment right here, I placed a GoPro camera on the globe Earth facing north with a pole running through the middle. There are stars everywhere in space, okay? There is no up nor there is any down. With that in mind, I'm just going to spin the globe and aim it towards any lights that are out there in the distance. The lights will need to be far enough away so any movement that I make the light's movement or their apparent movement won't be as noticeable. If the lights were only a few feet away, like on the ceiling, the experiment would be skewed and the apparent movements of the lights on the ceiling would be very noticeable even if you moved it just a little bit. Okay, here's the camera that is attached to the globe and we're going to go ahead and spin it from west to east on both scenarios. From the globe's perspective, north is to the left. For these two experiments, the cameras will face toward the north and south part of the globe with the lights at a distance and I will spin the globe west to east. These lights will simulate stars. They are far enough away so small movements aren't noticeable and the lights positions are relatively still. Camera faces north, spins west to east. This is a half second time exposure on burst. The light trail's apparent movement when facing towards the model north pole is counterclockwise as you see here. In reality the stars do create circular star trails when facing north on earth. Everything, including the grass, is circling the central point counterclockwise. High speed video of movement. Northern star trails. You see the similarity. On the second experiment, the camera will be facing south of the globe and will be still spinning west to east. Camera facing towards the South Pole and will rotate west to east, similar to Earth's rotation. Globe facing south, spinning west to east. Clockwise movement mimics the southern star trails. Light reflection off the grass creating circular movement as well. Sped up clockwise movement footage. Southern star trails, again, do you see the similarity? with the experiments that we did above. The conclusion is, northern and southern circular star trails are only possible on a rotating globe Earth, not a flat Earth. I will give you a thousand bucks directly into your PayPal account. Thank you, flat Earth Aussie Jesus. Challenge complete. Circular light trails taken from a camera attached to a spinning globe. I humbly await your payment.